so if you click on the one about luminosity, I'm going to do a different one. But I wanted to see that one. Well, that one continues on to the next page, and that's just difficult. So let's go. Let's take a look. Electrical resistance. Hmm. Resistance is futile. The electrical resistance R of a wire varies directly as its length L and inversely as the square of the diameter D. Oh, we combination. Part A. Express R in terms of I, D, and the constant of variation K. What are they doing? They're setting up the generic. Now they're giving you the information in order to find K. Okay. A wire 100 feet long of diameter 0 0.01 inch has resistance 25 ohms. Find the value of K in part A. Ah! <laughs> there they want you to find K. Okay. So then you set up the general. Mm -hmm. And you answer the question. Ooh. They want you to sketch the graph. Find the resistance of a wire that is made of the same material that has diameter of 0 0.015 inch and is 50 feet long. Let's do the math. What's our game plan? We have a game plan. A game plan. First, we're going to identify the type of variation. Oh boy. Then, we're going to set up the generic with appropriate variables. Then, we're going to solve for k. <laughs> Fork. And then, we're going to set up the specific with our found k. Okay. And then finally, you answer the question. Electrical resistance r of a wire varies directly as the length and inversely as the square of the diameter, d. And here we go. The resistance is directly proportional to the length of this wire and inversely proportional to the distance squared. Dun, dun, dun. Then they give you the information in order to find K. Okay, so let's go. Da, da, do, do. They say the ohms, they say the ohms are 25. When what? When the length is 100 feet. But whoa, what's the diameter of this wire? The diameter is 0 0.01 squared. That's fun. We're trying to find K. So 25 is equal to, oh, that's, oh, oh. Carl! Tiny. Yeah, that's right, because that's really big, and then I'm dividing by, oh, 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 one million. Okay? Yeah. So then you divide by a million, and this is 400, or wait, 40,000? That's your K? I don't really like this example. You finish. Just kidding. I'll freaking finish. So now that I found my K, I can put that there. My resistance is equal to 140 thousandths. Big numbers. That's the stuff they don't like. Then this is your L divided by your D squared. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can answer the question. In step five, they want to know what the resistance is going to be when what? Why did you switch off on me? All right, looks like you're still going. So then, they say our new diameter is gonna be 0 0.015, and our new length is 50 feet. This is the feet that we wanna know what this diameter, or resistance, is gonna be. So we plug all those in there appropriately, and that we see that this is gonna be one, ah. Uh, I just lost a camera due to low power. So now let's go down here. Oh, drop it to the floor. Make it nasty. So then our resistance is um, 140,000 times our new length of 50 divided by our distance 0 0.015. And then that gonna, oh, that's squared right there. You still with me? 
All right, we keep on keeping on. Calculate all that out. And it looks like this is going to be 50 ninths ohms. Fox and flower.